and welcome back to another POV. I just found out there's a new feature on my phone called Director's View, where I can actually use both the front and the back cameras at the same time. So I'm using that for the intro today. But today we are in a mountain village called Guatadela. I'm pretty sure that I mispronounced the name of this place uh, throughout the entire video. So it's not Guatadela. I'm not even sure if that's a place that exists. This place, uh, this mountain village is called Guadalest and it is about half an hour out from Benidorm. And I'm basically walking around in this POV video, taking some shots of the streets and mostly the scenery that you can see in the shot here. Enjoy. Wait, where do I? Um, okay, I guess I'll just... And welcome back to another POV. We are in a beautiful little mountain village called Guadalest. I think that's how you say it. I am joined with my trusted APS-C and Tamron setup. We're gonna try and get some cool shots. We don't have a lot of time today because it's already 4 p.m. and the sun's gonna set in about an hour and a half. So this might be quite a short video. I'm pretty sure that there's a castle somewhere around here. Um, and like a couple of cool buildings kind of on top of these rocks. I'm not quite sure what type of photos I'm taking today, which is why I've got my Tamron lens on. So it allows me to zoom in when I want to and zoom out when I need to. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Like this little rock in the distance. Let's focus on that. Maybe F2.8. What about this little hut in the distance? Tap to focus. Boom, that's kind of cool. We're using this big rock for foreground. Maybe a shot like this with some palm trees. Ooh. I want to get up there. That's where I want to be. Oh, this is cool. I'm using the palm trees as a bit of framing for that rock in the distance. Place that in the middle and boom. And another one. I've taken about five photos of a single rock so far. Cute little town square, I think. Exposed for the sky. Shutter speed around 1 over 1,600. Taking some simple shots. Oh wow, look at that. That's stunning. Now how do I take a photo of it? Maybe f4.5? 5? f5? Make sure everything's kind of in focus. Place that pillar on the right line of the rule of thirds just for some simple composition. And boom. Okay, I know what shot I want. I want to get a shot of someone taking a photo just stood over there. Just like this. Get some vertical shots. Like this. No, que eso es un terraplén, eh. No me quiero. No me quiero caer. Plaza total ahí, si te Okay, now. Where are the sights? I want to get a shot of that tiny building that we saw earlier. I'm not quite sure how to get there. Let's take another shot over here. Get this done. And his wife. Boom. It's kind of cool. Look at they're both facing different directions. Now they're facing the same way. That's cool too. Okay, that's kind of cool. Boom. Okay. 
Oh wow, look at that. I love how blue the water is. It's like naturally teal. Very teal water. Take a wide shot. Okay. What about this castle here? Again, using this wall with some foreground. Still trying to find that little hut that we passed earlier. Found a little dog. Try and get a shot of him. What a vibe. Oh, this is the place, by the way, uh, Guadalest. Yeah, that's where we are. Found this place. Uh, I was basically, I was just Googling like things to do near Benidorm, which is where I'm currently staying. Ooh, look at this. And this place seems to be pretty cool. Oh wait, is that the little hut? Crap, I thought it would be lower down. Hmm. I feel like the staircase can give me some leading lines. But how do I position myself? Okay, this looks way worse than I thought. Yeah, it's clapped. Oh, got some leading lines here maybe. Leading up to what? That's the question. I guess they're leading up to that mountain. Oh, there we go. That's the leading line I was looking for. Focus on the tower. F, ooh, maybe F 2.8. Mm, four, four's fine. I just wanted to make sure that the the rail um, in the foreground is blurred enough. But I think F4 is fine. Okay, moving on. God, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Don't even really have an excuse. Didn't even climb that much. Definitely, definitely not out of breath from those stairs. That was nothing. I'm in shape. Okay, I'll take... Shit, that was blurry. Uh, tap to focus. Again, borrowing the stone wall for some foreground. Taking a shot of that bell tower. Boom. Another one. Bam. Okay. Oh God. I need to work on my fitness in the new year. <clears throat> it's been one of my New Year's resolutions. Stop skipping cardio. Something like this. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with adding foreground to my photos. Like, I could have easily taken a shot like this. But I don't know, it just feels kind of empty without. I'll put both up on screen and you can tell me which one you prefer. Kind of wish I had a telephoto so I could snap like crazy compression shots of people taking photos down there. But yeah, it's not, it doesn't really work from this distance. Not with 70 mil. See what's over here. Hmm. I shoot through the fence. It's slightly booky taking photos at a cemetery. Let's see if these shots are worth it. I'm gonna have a blurry cross in the foreground like this. Focus on Jesus. Oh, I don't know if that's Jesus. Focus on the statue say that yeah it's for sure not Jesus <laughs> maybe this angel get an angel shot
Okay. Ooh. Get some layers here, that's cool. Am I still recording? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna have to squat down again. I'm always dreading the squatting down because it's effort, but okay, there we go. A bit higher up. Boom. Thank you. Let's see if I'm happy with those. Be very careful not to drop the camera. Okay, POV thumbnail photography. Let's go. Where's a little egg on? I want this. Focus on the camera. Boom. Okay, hopefully one of those will be good enough to be my thumbnail. Now, let's take a shot here. There we go, that's the shot I've been wanting to take. A little hut in the distance. I'll zoom in a bit more so I get a little bit more compression. Uh, and what, <coughs> what I mean by that is when you zoom in with a zoom lens or if you just have a longer focal length and you're more zoomed in, things that are far away from each other seem to be closer to each other. So if I take a wide angle shot at 17, you can see the mountain behind the tower looks, well, normal. But if I zoom all the way into 70, the mountain looks a bit closer to the tower than in the previous shot. And um, I don't know, I just kind of like that look, which is why I always try to take certain shots zoomed in when possible. Here I'm actually going to zoom out a bit more though because I want some sky in there. There's a cool little thing over the wall that you can't see. I'm going to try and take a photo of it. Directly shooting into the sun in this one, so it's going to be very hard to expose. Just walking over here, <coughs> slightly off road to um, get a shot of the tower with some of the village in the foreground. It's very different scenery to um, to my usual London stuff, so I'm going to have to look how to edit these. But thankfully got a bunch of presets to choose from so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to find at least one look that works for this location okay i just put my gopro away so i'm not going to get it out again but i'm going to quickly snap a picture of this rock and the sunset because it looks really nice Okay, hope you enjoyed this POV. Uh, it might be a short one because I didn't have that much time. We got here about four o'clock and we had about an hour and a half before the sunset. So I didn't get to spend as much time here as I wanted, but overall I think I got all the shots that I needed to get and pretty happy with the result. I hope you enjoyed the video as always and I'll probably see you back in London in the video next week. <laughs>